You're watching a special edition of the Council in Brief. I'm Susan Kennedy. The Montgomery County Council has reached an agreement on the capital and operating budget for fiscal year 20 and amendments to the capital improvements program. Included in that vote, approval of a $16 million reconciliation list, funding for essential programs that were not included in the county executive's original budget proposal. Even though we all wish we could do everything all at once, you begin to learn the discipline of understanding how to be strategic and how to build capacity or leverage capacity. For my new colleagues, obviously this is the first time that they're coming in. Well, this budget has been a whirlwind. It's definitely been a learning experience. Uh, Council President Navarro, thank you for your leadership. For engaging us, uh, especially the new members of the council. It's been a pleasure to work with you, to learn from you. Uh, and therefore, they might be a bit more eager um, uh, to address many of these things at full scale. Before joining this body, I did not need reading glasses. <laughs> I have been so impressed by the willingness of our new colleagues to uh, understand the history, the background, to come up with also innovative ways. I want to expand Kids Ride Free. because right to build now, the capacity um, and to address some of these big picture items. We, we've tried to do it all, and of course we also did it without kicking the can down the road. We're working on our debt, which is a great concern. It's too high. We're working on economic development, which we need to get back on track. So we're, we're trying to do it all, and, and I think though this is far from a perfect budget, it's a budget that when you looked at it from the beginning to where it is right now, it's much better than in my mind than it was in the very beginning. The operating budget fully funds schools and supports Montgomery College. I'd like to say thank you for your continued support for Montgomery College. And Council member Craig Rice chairs the council's education committee. He and his colleagues on the education committee worked especially hard to come up with a budget that puts kids first. We were able to take this budget in uh, cooperation with my colleagues from an education last budget and truly make it an education first budget. Seeing the college fully funded, seeing Montgomery County Public Schools fully funded, and knowing the great work that's going on there to address the equity, opportunity, and achievement gap that we see is one of our proudest things that we can can take away from this budget, I think. The newly approved budget protects our safety net, adds funds for services for the developmentally disabled, and makes a $7 million investment in early child care and education. This four-year action plan spearheaded by Council President Navarro will expand quality early care and education opportunities by adding seats for 600 children in the first year. For me, this is a proud moment for this budget brings together Many of my priorities in my work in education, economic development, and workforce development with a focus on equity, fiscal prudence, and sustainability. This budget says that we are a people-friendly and a business-friendly government, and that we care about our employees. This year, we listened carefully to concerns from community members, and their views have informed our budget decisions. In the area of public safety, Montgomery County Police saw a 5.4% increase in their budget. He's a good kid. And added funding for two new school resource officers. Montgomery County Fire and Rescue Services will receive a 2.4% increase, which includes funding for 20 new firefighter positions. My role as the chair of the Public Safety Committee has allowed me to gain an even better understanding of our public safety agencies we depend on them at our most challenging times, and it is so very important that we ensure that every first responder has the training and equipment they need to serve the public. And as the council continues its work to develop a racial equity policy, then everybody benefits. Here council in President County. Navarro says this budget reflects the values of the community and is fair and equitable for all. Um, and it's not about doing something unique. It really is about addressing the needs of our constituents. This is who we are. And so to have that in the back of our minds just means that we are a bit more aware and attentive to how our decisions help either exacerbate or benefit um, those gaps that exist out in our communities. The fiscal year 20 operating budget and capital plan will go into effect on July 1st. For County Cable Montgomery, I'm Susan Kennedy. Thanks for watching.